Hello, my name is Kain Son, and today will be the first class on basics of linear programming. Actually, it's, it's going to be from basics to the advanced because we are going to cover all aspects of linear programming. But this lecture will be uh, broken down into segments of maybe 10 minutes per class for the whole duration of linear programming lectures. So this will be our lesson one and it will be our starting point. Uh, in case you don't know, I'm Kain Son, the genius, and actually this is me. Uh, I'm a researcher in Budapest University of uh, Technology and Economics and I study computer science and let's get started to with linear programming. So the first thing is what actually is linear programming? Let's give a definition. A linear programming problem may be defined as the problem of maximizing or minimizing a linear function subject to linear constraints. So a little bit of history about linear programming. Uh, it actually started in the mid 20th century uh, during the Second World War, when engineers have to find a way to maximize uh, resources or maybe minimize the time it takes to move uh, equipment from one location to another. So it's actually a way to solve real life problems. And that is why most of the time you see uh, uh, expressions like linear programming problem. So once you can break a problem down to linear programming a prob problem, then you can actually ap apply the principles of linear programming to actually solve this problem. So let's uh, see how it works. So given a linear programming problem, how do you actually solve a linear programming problem? In the first place, what is a linear programming problem? Uh, we've identified it that is a problem that you need to solve uh, based based on certain constraints. So constraints, and also know that it has to be either maximizing or maximizing. The functions has to be linear, not polynomial function, or not nonlinear function. And then uh, you have to solve this problem. So given a problem. The first step in solving a linear programming problem is to identify the following four items. One of them is the cost function. So what is the cost function? The cost function is the function, the function you need to minimize or maximize. The function you need to minimize or maximize. The next thing you, are, you need to figure out is the objective of the problem. Are you trying to minimize or are you trying to maximize? I can actually write it out. So are you trying to minimize or maximize? So in case of minimizing, it has to be uh, less than or equal to most of the time that is what you see and in case of maximizing it has to be greater than or equal the next thing you need to identify is the variables or the unknowns so you need to identify the variables most times these variables are not given explicitly so you need to identify them and assign them maybe x1 x2 uh, x3 or a b c d or X, Y, Z, and stuff like that. So you need to identify the variables and assign them uh, certain uh, uh, letters or, or symbols. And then you need to identify the constraints. To make this come alive, let's take a typical example. So let's take an example of a linear programming problem and identify these items that we've mentioned. So the problem goes this way. Find the numbers x1 and x2 that maximize the sum x1 plus x2 such that x1 is greater than or equal to 0 and x2 is greater than or equal to 0. So, and x1 plus 2x2 is less than or equal to 4, x, 4x1 plus 2x2 is less than or equal to 12, minus x1 plus x2 is less than or equal to 1. So, this actually is how linear programming works. So no matter how complicated it is, it comes down to all of this. You need to 
or break it down into this. So the only difference is that there may be more than uh, two variables. In this case, we have x1, x2. There may be more constraints, but everything is actually the same. Just like we mentioned, we need to identify these four functions, these four items. And once you've identified these four items, the problem is actually uh, on the way to being solved. So what is the cost function in this case? We say that cost function is a function you need to minimize or maximize. The problem made it clear that we need to maximize this. So the cost function, uh, let's see, let's call it, okay, uh, let's call it here, yeah, the cost function, function of uh, x1 and x2 is x1 plus x2. So this is our cost function. What is the objective of the problem? The objective of the problem is to what? Is to maximize x1 plus x2. Right? Good. So if you have some challenges on the following, you can just pause the video or you can just uh, make a comment and let me know in the comment box. What are the variables? The variables are yeah, x1 and x2. Is there anyone I'm missing out? I think that th these are the, just the two variables uh, that we have out there. Okay, so what else do we have? Uh, we have the constraints. Okay, what are the constraints? The constraints are 1, let's call it C1, C2, C3, C4, C5. So we have five constraints. Uh, we have these five constraints, five constraints, five Cs. Uh, these two constraints, I'll tell you C4 and C5. Yeah, they are special constraints and they are called non-negativity constraints. Non-negativity non constraints. So for most problems, you will always see uh, this constraint for most of the problem in addition to other constraints. So this is how to break down a linear programming problem. So now we are going to now go into a real world scenario uh, and that is lesson two. We are going to be solving the diet problem uh, from the beginning to the end and that is what we are going to do in lesson two. So I'd like to remind you to subscribe so that you get notified when lesson two is published. I remain Kainton and I'm here to teach you uh, linear programming and any other thing you would like to learn, you would like to let me know.